大家好，我是 Joe Creator。Today we have a new artist that I'm going to listen to.、Um, I'm really excited for this one because I've had loads of、uh, comments from you guys and messages saying this is something that I've got to check out. And who is it? It's Wanong Qingnian Liu Dian, also known as Omnipotent Youth Society. And the song we're going to be listening to today is Sha Sun Na Ge Jia Shu Shu Jia Guang Shu Jiang Zhuang Jia. 杀死那个石家庄人。Sorry, that one's pretty hard for me to pronounce correctly. It's a bit of a mouthful. I read that this song is supposed to reflect people from a certain generation,、um, from a certain background in China. So I'm hoping that it's actually got quite a good meaning behind it, and maybe I can learn something from it as well. Okay, without further ado, let's listen. 傍晚六点下班， okay. 换掉要长的衣裳。妻子在澳洲。Quite a sad arpeggio melody here. 我去喝几瓶啤酒，如此生活三十年。沙崩塌，云藏深处的黑暗呐、啊，淹没心底的情况。Wow. Okay, okay. Firstly, I want to say that it's very like bluesy when you just describe mundane day-to-day -day life in a song and do it. Quite beautifully, actually, and a bit like poetically here. But then it's counteracted by this very softly delivered, but very shocking、uh, line of the building collapsing and everything. It takes a real、um, dark turn, really. Anyway, now we have another melody being done on being done on a cello. Oh, such a beautiful instrument. Wow. God, it's amazing. Whoa! Oh, now we're going up with the vocals. Oh my God! And the cello doing a counter melody. 在他脑海中奔跑。
the lead guitar and the trumpet are just playing off each other so well. Guitar solo! And the trumpet's coming up on this harmony! Oh my god, with the lead guitar now, what are you? Oh my god! Hello in the background. Oh, it's so much emotion here. Oh my god! That's just a great guitar song. And now the padding! Oh my god, it's just destroying itself! What an emotional roller coaster that song is. Okay, where to begin? I'm gonna start at the beginning because that makes sense. Firstly, musically, it throws you off. The whole song stems from this uncertainty and you don't know it when you first start listening to it, but obviously this, this man's life is thrown into chaos. And you even have that at the start of the song. It has an odd time signature, which gives you a weird feeling when you listen to it before going into a straight 4-4. Four, four. So let's listen. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two, one and two and three. Your brain automatically thinks this is a little bit different. This is not quite right, but it sounds so good. The guitars here are playing harmony, uh, but it's not being played on one guitar, it's being played on two, and they're panned slightly differently, and the guitars sound slightly different, and it's just a beautiful combination. Right, then you have this harmonica come in. I really love the delivery of this melody on this instrument. What it is, is, is it's the way that the notes quiver on the harmonica here. <laughs> And then let's talk about the inclusion of the cello. I mean, I love this instrument and it seems to come out of nowhere, but the sound is so beautiful and it's like the voice of sadness. He's just talked about these deep, dark clouds and they're drowning the bottom of his heart. And then this deep voice of the cello comes out and it's explaining that feeling in the music. So you have the words and then the music follow it up and they are explaining each other. The lyrics, they, they are so poetically sad. What I really enjoy about the lyrics here is that, as I say, it starts off with this mundane description of life and then it hits you with until the building collapsed. And then you understand the feeling that the song is um, explaining to you the image of, of 10,000 off-leash horses running within his mind, the, the chaos that, um, that this has caused this man. This is built upon by repeating some of these lines. Lived this way for 30 years is said multiple, multiple times. Talking about the building collapsing is talked about multiple, multiple times. And not only do I think that emphasizing this is very poetic, but 
also if you put yourself in the shoes of this man um or his wife and all you think is why has this happened to me why has this happened to me and all that would be running through your mind is I've lived this way for so long, I, I don't deserve this. The building collapse, why? I don't deserve this. And that's all that you would be thinking about and you wouldn't be able to take your mind away from it. So repeating these lines, I think is very important for the emphasis of the meaning behind the words. I'm gonna talk about the brass. I love the brass in this. I think the, the actual band have one saxophonist and one trumpet player? I'm not sure. Somebody in the comments, just please confirm um, what the band consists of. Up until this point, everything has been very legato, right? You have the cello and the harmonica where the sounds come in very gently. The vocals are very gently sung in there. And then suddenly you have this very staccato, very jumpy um, brass section. <laughs> It's very different to everything that's come before it, and that indicates a change in the song that's coming up. Again, the melody is very simple here. It still follows the same scale pattern and everything, but just changing to that stabbing noise. And that's very important for the evolution of the song to come. And I just think that the introduction of the brass there is absolutely perfect. It's the building of the anger and the chaos in this man's mind from going from just sadness through to anger. And now let's get to the point where the chaos really, really comes out. Okay, so you have that guitar slide. <laughs> And everything starts becoming more chaotic there. You have the trumpet melody, but you have the guitar playing a melody underneath it. You then have this distortion on the guitar, and it's very, it's very dirty. It's very broken. It's very classic distortion where you just stab holes through your amplifier, and it just makes the sound very rough. This is the first part of the song where the, uh, the root, the feeling of the melody changes. The trumpet now plays... which is a much different feeling uh, melody than... It's more haunting, it's a little bit more aggressive in the way that it sounds, and then you have the guitar coming in underneath and it's just wonderful. And then all that noise sort of drops away and then you have the lead guitar coming in. And then you move into a different part of the song where you have this beautiful harmony building up with the trumpet as well. You start off with the guitar, but then the trumpet goes up and up and up on the harmony and it fits in so well in the mix. I'm surprised actually how well you have the trumpet and the guitar fitting together here. <laughs> And then you have everything building, you have everything climaxing together because you have the cello coming in. It starts playing a similar melody to earlier, but then that moves up and starts playing more of a counter melody rather than a bass line. And you then have the guitar in the left ear just playing with a very simple lick, but it just adds to that chaos there. <laughs> And the only one thing that doesn't return is the harmonica. And my thoughts on this is because when the building has collapsed, this man's life has changed forever and some things will never return. And that is the harmonica in this song. It was there at the start and never again. Then you have this chaotic guitar solo to end the song, really climax it. And it starts off uh, vaguely normal. It's very, very energetic. And then you start, you start going out of key and getting very chromatic with it. And then towards the end, it just goes into utter chaos. The guitar is panning around the head. It's dropping out. It's not really playing notes anymore. It's just noise and It's it's almost like that is the 10,000 horses and it's just pure noise. It's pure chaos and then Goes to silence in conclusion the song and its meaning are just perfectly aligned with each other the lyrics are so poetic and poignant and then the instruments really bound off of those lyrics and the composition is just absolutely perfect for this. It's always moving forward. There's always something else 
in there to make it more complex and more importantly, in this case, more chaotic. It has that real rock and roll feel. All in all, just a fantastic song and fantastic performance. And that's my thoughts on it. So thank you all for watching this video. Really, really appreciate it. Let me know down in the comments what you think of this song. What are there other songs that are really good? Are there any other bands that are similar to this that you want to recommend me? Just let me know. I'd love to hear it. So and hope to see you all next time. So uh, that's it. Bye bye.